the former cable TV star Meghan Markle planning to go it alone? That's right, alone. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London, a noisy London. I know a lot of you tell me off, but we do try and find quiet places to film in as and when we can. Not easy, let me tell you. Uh, London's becoming even busier right now. Um, it's nice to see it actually coming to life again, but of course, people are becoming back to their old ways, aren't they? Frustrated, beeping everybody, pushing in, you know, the usual stuff. That's just the supermarket, isn't it? <laughs> Don't know about the roads. Back as ever though to your breaking royal story of the day. Now, it's been a busy, busy week in the world of Harry and Meghan because they started off the week kind of quiet for them. And then of course, we found out that they'd been dumped by Netflix. Uh, you know, Meghan Markle's Pearl, which was her big, big chance to shine as an executive producer. Well, Netflix decided they didn't want to carry on with it, you know. A little unkind, really, you know, because uh, according to a very good source, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, they released that information before, of course, uh, Harry and Meghan could. So they were close sort of playing catch up, which is a bit strange. But when you are working for a major organisation worth millions, billions, then of course, they call the shots, as Prince Harry is now finding out. Out. But where are we now at with the David Furnish executive produced cartoon adventure all about a, a girl travelling through time meeting historical figures? It sounded riveting, didn't it? Now, what's interesting to note is while there have been few uptakes and offers so far to take on the production, according to a very good source, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, it looks like Harry and David plan to go it alone and let me explain the background to that you know they believe if they can get independent funding for this it's something they could do themselves perhaps put out on Amazon Prime as sole producers now this actually does sort of make sense in many respects because if you think about it you know they would own the rights and every single thing about it I'm not quite sure where they are legally with Netflix because of course it was a deal that they offered to them but I'm sure their very stringent lawyers will have made sure that they were allowed to pull back the full production and go independently should they so wish but that's where they're at with it now so if you're very close to Megan or David or if you're Elton John, perhaps it's time to snap open your diamond encrusted wallet because they're looking for investors to make Pearl shine, this time independently. Now, will that make you watch it? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.